President, <laughs> distinguished colleagues, Senator Benga Shafa representing Lagos East Senatorial District. I rise to present uh, this bill on City University of Technology, Java Bill 2018, SB334. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, thank you for the opportunity to lead the debate on the general principles of the City University of Technology, Yaba Bill 2018. You will recall that this bill was read for the first time in this chamber on Wednesday, 16th November 2016. The bill essentially seeks to transform the Institute of Technology, Yaba, to the City University of Technology, Yaba, Nigeria steady mark towards education for all in the shortest possible time has taken a giant leap with the introduction of this bill for acts to provide for the establishment of the City University of Technology, Yaba, and other related matters. I am personally excited by the prospect of transforming this polytechnic to a University of Technology because it will motivate both students and academic staff just as it will upgrade its facilities and enhance its capability to achieve its objectives. Similarly, the new University of Technology will encourage the advancement of learning and hold out to all persons without distinction of race, creed, sex, or political conviction the opportunity of acquiring a higher and liberal education. It will also do the following. A, provide courses for instruction and other facilities. B, encourage and promote scholarship. C, relate its activities to the social, cultural, and economic needs of the people of Nigeria. D, undertake any other activities appropriate for a university of the higher standards. And um, Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I recall that in similar circumstances, in the United Kingdom, most of its polytechnics were upgraded to universities. For instance, the former Polytechnic of Central London became the University of Westminster. South Bank Polytechnic became the University of South Bank, while the Polytechnic of North London became the University of North London. It should not be seen that we in Nigeria are copying them, but it is simply that the reality of the day we live in um, surmises. If Nigeria has planned and should aim to become one of the world's leading economies as currently being pursued by government, we must be ready to adjust and position our educational institutions <laughs> so that these products are geared for the technological challenges inherent in such projections. Our educational authorities are moving to revamp our institutions for these objectives. The City University of Technology, Yaba, when enacted by the National Assembly, will have power to establish such campuses, colleges, faculties, institutes, schools, extramural departments, and other teaching and research units within the university as may from time to time seem necessary or desirable subject to the approval of the National Universities Commission. It will also, one, institute professorships, readerships, lectureships, and other posts and offices, and to make appointments thereto. Two, institute and award fellowships, scholarships, exhibitions, bursaries, medal prizes, and other titles, distinctions, awards, and forms of assistance. Three, provide for the discipline and welfare of members of the university. Four, hold examinations and grant degrees, diplomas, certificates, and other distinctions to persons who have pursued a course of study approved by the university and among other activities. And five, grant honorary degrees, fellowships, or academic titles. To ensure continuity in the administration of the university, it is provided in section eight that all property held by or on behalf of Yaba Tech shall be vested in the university and be held by it for the purposes of the university. Notably, all staff hereby transferred to the university and previous service shall count as service for the purposes of any pension payable by the university. Given its age and achievements, as well as the requirements of the Nigerian economy, it is clear 
to that, with the enactment of this bill, the university will focus on STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Um, the attainment of university status will definitely enhance the operations of the Yabak Polytechnic and clarify its mission and vision. It is definitely old enough. Its facilities are superior to those found in many other Nigerian universities, and with the agreeable exception of very few universities, no other tertiary institution can boast of a richer tradition of learning. However, Mr. President, my respected colleagues, the institution is prepared to undertake the educational and other modifications that are natural corollary of transforming to a university. The institution is also prepared to remain true to its core mandate of producing well-trained manpower capable of driving the technological management and business goals of the nation. In this regard, it will seek to imitate the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, which has built upon a tradition of distinction to become one of the world's foremost educational institutions. Mr. President, distinguished senators, I am fully satisfied that the provisions in this bill are adequate to ensure the take-up of the proposed university, and I will not hesitate to encourage my colleagues to support it at all stages of its journey to, become, uh, to becoming a law of the Federation of Nigeria. I wish to state here that the structures and personnel needed for this transformation to a university are already in place and available at the Yaba Tech, and therefore there is no need for a financial compendium in accordance with the Rule 773 of our standing rules. I therefore urge my colleagues to give your full support to this bill. Thank you. A bill for an act to provide for the establishment of the City University of Technology, Yaba, Lagos State, and for other matters there in 2019, second reading. This bill is now referred to the Committee on Tertiary Institutions and Tet Fund and report back within the week.